SMART is the acronym for five elements, uh, which is S for specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-based or time-bound. And you can set SMART goals to clarify your ideas, focus your efforts, use your time and resources productively, and achieve what you want in life. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create or how to make a smart goal slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have added a different colors and each object or each element is hanging with that particular alphabet with the icons. And on the right side, I have added a target and the arrow and below you can write your own goals and other slide which I made it without any hanging. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. To add the text, go to insert text box and just type a capital S and the font I'm going to select Verdana and the size of the font should be 166 and you can make it bold. And then press Ctrl D to duplicate. Then I'm going to type M all in caps. Ctrl D A again Ctrl D R and then Ctrl D T. So this is smart. So now you can change the the color of the font. First I'm going with this color and then I will select this then I'm going to select a light orange color and then I'm going to select the green and the last I'm going to select this color dark teal now once you have changed the colors just just bring it more closer a little bit overlapping and the last T then I'm just going to send this back go to format send to back then select A and just press F4 key so it will go back it will repeat the last action and this also I'll just select press F4 key. So you got the smart and let me just bring it here. Then I'm going to insert again shapes under block arrows. You can just select this particular shape which is arrow pentagon. Just draw the arrow maybe this much size. I can make it 1.1 shape outline make it no outline and rotate you can just say rotate right 90 degrees and bring it here and I can just reduce the height and I'm going to insert one oval shape go to shapes and select an oval shape draw the oval shape reduce the size shape outline make it a black and shape outline weight you can increase it a little bit maybe one and a half point and shape fill make it white or you can make it light gray also if you want and just put exactly in the center and then you have to select the same color what you have selected for the s which i'm going to select this color yes this is the color now I'm just going to group this both of this I'm just using the uh, mouse I'm just selecting this and press ctrl G to group it and then press ctrl D to duplicate this is for the M A R and T and you have to make sure that you have to align this properly and to get the equal spacing select all these objects go to align and distribute horizontally and then I'm going to change the color of each depending on the 
font color so this one i'm going to select this then i'm going to select the green color and then lastly i'm going to select the teal color the next step is to add the icons and the text to add the text let me just go to insert text box and just i'll just make one text here that is s for specific make it a center aligned font you can change to again verdana and reduce the size maybe 10 or 11 and the font size or font color to be white so this is specific and this is a measurable and then this is the spelling is wrong let me just correct it and then attainable then for R and then T which is time based or time bound so you can just change the, the text if you are based on your requirement and then I'm just going to add the icons go to insert select the icons so I'm just going to select maybe one two three four and five icons just insert an icon height and width to be 0.5 just i'm going to put this is specific i can rotate this and then i'm going to select this is uh, measurable sorry and this is attainable and this next is relevant and I'm going to select which is time based now next one is to add this particular shape which is our this one for that I'm just going to add a new slide let me just delete this and then go to insert under insert you can see there's something called smart art click on the smart art and just drill down go down then you will come up with where is that let me just select search yeah this one which is the basic target and just say okay now you can see there's only two three text i can press enter three and four i can make it and then i'm going to select this convert convert to shape and then i'm going to delete all this or you can right mouse click group ungroup select all these delete it see then i'm going to select this go to format the color I'm going to select this color then this will be a light color light gray again the same color then again light gray and again the red then you got this one press ctrl G to group it ctrl C to copy and ctrl V to paste it and reduce the size by holding the shift key and bring it here so you got your target here and then you can add your text i'll just say your goal and again i'll just say verdana bold 
and you can give some gray color and if you want you can add more detailed text here add your detail text here and to add the arrow what i can do i can go to insert shape select one rectangle draw a small rectangle shape outline make it no outline and shape color shape fill you can give some this color just rotate this put it here you can further reduce the size and then go to insert shapes and select this particular arrow chevron increase the size rotate it and exactly put it on the top shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some gray color and send this to back you got your arrow and the target is also ready so that is the the smart objective the, or the smart goals and if you want to do some more uh, modification or uh, add some more graphics i did something like this here where you can see here i've just added some lines here one oval shape here like this so you can just do the similar for this one so let me just show you one example only so i'm just going to insert shape select a oval shape draw a very small oval shape on both the ends this is one shape outline you can get, make it gray color and right mouse click go to format shape and you can give the shadow effect which is this one and reduce the blur size and shape fill you can make it white press ctrl d to duplicate and add similarly one on the s also and then you can go to insert shapes select one line and you can just draw the line from this to this something like this like this also you can make it the line color you can make it maybe black so you can add similarly for all other objectives That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.